Good morning. What an amazing God we have. I mean, just look at that first reading from Isaiah. Just the idea that he can give us so much, that there's actually food to feed us all, to feed the world, the air that we breathe, everything is of his creation, that the earth spins every single day, that the sun rises and sets every day. This is all of God's design and how much he cares for us and loves us. And then Isaiah says that the word, his word, will come down. And we see in John's gospel, the word became flesh. Jesus came down to open up the Father to us. And think about this. In the Israel culture, they couldn't even speak God's name. And here Jesus is telling us to call him Father, to call him Dad, Daddy, Abba that we are on a personal relationship with him. And then Christ gives us this beautiful prayer that we know has to be divinely inspired, that we've known since we were young. It was imprinted in our hearts. We understood that. It is that prayer that we can go back to at any time, that when we're in trouble, we can always call on him. How many times a day do we say it? You know, if you say the rosary, you say it over and over again. Sometimes it becomes so meditative and it just brings you to them because it encapsulates the whole gospel, all of Jesus' teachings in this one beautiful prayer that we're always called back to him. What a gift that is to us, that he actually cares enough that he opens himself up to allow us to know him. We're not like the pagans who were just screaming around because they knew there had to be something different, but they didn't have a way to God. We are so lucky and fortunate that we have Christ himself, the word of God, God himself, the God-man, to bring us back up to the Father, to reach up to us, and to teach us to be like God and to forgive. The only way that we can forgive others is because God allows us to. It is all part his, of his divinity and how blessed we truly are that we can understand him and trust in him evermore.